Hello, my name is Brett Roberts with Schneider Electric. Welcome to the Innovation Channel, where we discuss innovative products and solutions for your business. Joined today by my good friend, Dave Richards. How are you? Brett, I'm doing well. Thanks for the invite. You bet. I'm excited to have you here today because uh, when you think of innovation, um, this product, Wiser Energy, is uh, definitely at the forefront and uh, is one I'm personally uh, very excited about and uh, would love to have you kind of walk us through, um, you know, what Wiser Energy is and, and how it can benefit the, uh, the homeowner. You bet. Brett, thanks again for having us. Yeah. Um, what's nice about this product, as you mentioned, you don't have to be a real gadget person to really take advantage of this product. Yeah. It's very simplistic in its design. Even from an installation standpoint, it takes merely just a simple CT on the mains. You've got a, a, a the device that mm -hmm. basically needs to communicate to your network. So as long as the system can actually see the device on the network, that's all the work there yeah. really is to yeah. do you're to good, set you're this good, thing up. Good to go. You're Great. good to go. Yep. Okay. You know. So, but really, the key piece behind this is is the app itself. So. Okay. I wanted to kind of show everyone a little bit more about the app and how yeah. exciting this really is. Absolutely. Okay, so why don't you walk us through. Awesome. So when you first open this app, you're going to see a very simple GUI. Yep. Um, bubbles. It, bubbles. Yep. I like the bubbles, but yep. you can actually do this in a little bit darker screen, a little bit differently. Okay. But we'll focus on the bubbles because what's nice about these bubbles is that you'll see to total power consumption here is about yeah. 1,700 watts. Yeah. The bubbles actually represent how much of that... 1700 watts gotcha. that particular device is sure. using sure right okay. yep. in this case here there's a cup there's a, a large bubble that says always on yeah these are kind of the ghost items that you know it's a tv that may be still yeah. on but it's off right but it's still using power so you have that yeah. instant on and i think if you put your finger and tap it it will it will come up with a um with the uh wattage that it's, those are using at that time is that right yeah, it does. It so is. you can okay. see 786 right. out of that 1700. Gotcha. In this case here, you can also see that there's an entry lamp mm -hmm. on, and so it gives you a quick look at right. what devices are on. Right, right. Well, I think our tagline is "Give your home a voice," and what I like about the bubbles and the graphics of this of this app is that it truly does that. It takes what was traditionally um, behind the walls electrical systems and now bringing them to the forefront and everybody's concerned about their electrical power these days, uh, their carbon footprint, and, uh, and how to save money, uh, what appliances are operating and how much those are costs. And then for those that are fortunate enough to have solar, you know, what is your solar producing and, uh, you know, and how to take advantage of that. Exactly. Right? I mean, you couldn't have summed it up better. So in this case here, on this particular app, we do have solar tied into it. Okay. But to your point, you don't have to have solar. Yeah. So the figure that you see on the far left here is actually representative of the solar. Okay. Now in this case here, it must not be a very sunny day because right. the solar production is pretty low. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, and the consumption of the home is fourteen hundred. Yep. So you got a cloudy day and folks are home. And folks uh, are home doing their doing thing. Doing stuff. Yep. Right? Okay. So, but let's look at this a little bit in more detail because okay. it's nice to see all of these bubbles and it's kind of cool to see how much power and how much production. Yeah. But down the right-hand side of the, the app is what's really kind of what drives it home for me. Yeah. Because now I can see when those devices turned on because mm. there is a time stamp on here. Right. So now as we kind of move through here, you can kind of see how and when those devices turned on. Yep. And how, much, how many times they turned on. So in this case here, you can see a furnace. Yep. It's turned on a couple of times. Okay. You can also scan down here what's kind of fun on this particular home. Um, you, you can all, scan down here. You can see there. when yeah. people are coming and going. Yeah. So it's a way, it's a look in. Your house truly has a voice. Right. So if you look here, you can see the garage door open twice mm -hmm. at 804. So, yeah. you know, this morning, people yeah. are leaving. So that's handy because you can see when a coffee maker turns on or off, um, washer, dryer units, um, all those types of all those appliances. Types of things, all right, right, great. So not only can we actually see when they turned on, but how would you like to get an alert to let you know that, hey, look, maybe right. something turned on that shouldn't right. have turned on. Right, right, right. So let's drill down a little bit. So we're going to come down to the bottom of the page here, and we're going to hit devices. Okay. So this gives us a good layout of all of the devices that are in this particular home. Yeah. So let's look at one that often runs 
Um, so I'm assuming gray means they're not being used right now, and then the ones that were up here near the top are green. Those are ones that are currently active. Correct. Okay. So an easy way to look at this is that anything that has a, a power oh, I see. figure yep. associated oh, nice. with it, yeah. that means yeah. it's on. That's awesome. Anything in the gray, as you mentioned, mm -hmm. and doesn't have any kind of power to mm -hmm. it, it's in an off state yeah. at this point in time. That's great. Yeah. So you can see very quickly what items are on okay. and what items are off. But let's go down here to the range. I think this is a good one to talk about. We're going to go down to the oven here. Okay. So oftentimes people are concerned, hey, I, I did some cooking this morning. They run out of the house because mm -hmm. they got to do a quick <laughs> errand or something. Yep. And they wonder, did I turn that on or did off? Did I leave that yeah. range on yeah. or oven on, yeah. right? Yeah. In this case here, what's kind of fun about this is that not only can we look at this from a day, a week, or a month perspective okay. of how often it runs. Yep. But I can actually come up here and I can set a custom alert. Gotcha. So I can actually set an alert to tell me, hey, is it on right. or is it off? And you can get that on your phone, right? You can get it on your phone or yep. any, any mobile device. Yep, all right. But I could come down here and you can see here that there's, there's a custom notification or custom alert. Yeah. And, and we've set this up so that we know that if it stays on for more than two hours, yeah. I want an alert. Right, right. So to access this, you can easily turn it off so there's no green at this point in time mm -hmm. or turn it back on if, it, if the yeah if the piece has a green illumination yep then it's in an on position that is so easy yeah so in this case here i will know if i've left the oven on too yeah. long yeah but the other nice thing is keep in mind when you come back to the home page mm -hmm. if that oven was on you would see it on the right hand side here true Yep, if you set for that notification, yeah. Right, so okay. you could see it very yeah. quickly from wherever you are. Yep, okay. How about, Dave, with um, with all the talk about smart homes and, and that type of technology, is there anything with Wiser Energy that can can align with things like Google and Alexa and, and those types of... Great question, yeah. great question, because this device does align with those other pieces. Okay. So in this particular case, let's go back to the device setting here. And we're going to go to the left-hand side, yeah. and you're going to see right here, you got those items that are on, but yep. you'll also see this little green button that says on. Gotcha. Those are the devices that we have in this particular model home oh, okay. done through right. a, a company called TP-Link. Gotcha. So they're the little pieces that you just kind of plug yep. into the wall, or it's a, <clears throat> yep. or it's a, uh, a power strip. Okay. But here's what's fun. So right now, the entry lamp is on, yep. and it's showing 24 watts. Let's turn that off. And let's see what happens. So you'll see automatically that it drops down into the off position. Yep. So now it's there. alphabetically. So yep. you can come down here, entry family, right? There it is. But you'll also see if we go back to the main screen, it's now been removed from the main screen. So yeah. the quick view is gone. Yeah. Let's go back and let's turn it on and just see what it looks like now back to an on position. So let's just, all we have to do is just click it here. Okay. You'll see that it automatically comes up, it goes green, it moves that device up to the top half of the page. Yeah. And so now you can see there's the 24 watts. We go back to the main page, and boom, there it is yeah. in the bubble. That's, That's awesome. That's kind of fun. Yeah. The other thing that I have heard is that uh, those folks that have solar, what this does is um, through, through the usage um, windows is that you can see when, you're out, when the home is using more than the solar is producing, and for those that live in, uh, in, in areas that have solar, they, they have solar in their homes, it kind of changes their thought process on when to run those appliances because most, of, most people these days don't have the battery backup. So that solar, in a lot of cases, would go to waste. But if you run your appliances during the time where your solar is at its peak, then you are you're really saving saving money and taking advantage of the fact that that unit or that home has solar energy. I think that's a great point, Brett. And so in this case here, what I've done is I've just come down to the solar button here mm -hmm. at the very bottom of the page, and we're just looking at this real quickly from a weekly standpoint. Yeah. So you can kind of see the last couple of weeks yeah. we've had some bad weather. Well, we're in fall and winter, in fall. really. And but so, this is a good yep. example here. So if we go back a week or two, you mm -hmm. can actually see the orange represents how much power is being produced. Right. The green represents how much power is being used. Yeah. So this is a good, easy way to look and say, you know what? Yeah. You know, we may want to consider doing some things differently. Yeah. Or running the dryer during the day instead of at night. Right. 
Right. And, and Wiser can help you do that very easily. Yeah. The other side of this is, is that I want to point out that all of these devices are automatically recognized. Yeah. You're not having to turn something on and off yeah. for the system to recognize. It just pops up. It just pops up. So everything that you see here, all of these devices, Wiser has found on its own. Yeah. Let's do a quick look here. So you can see in this particular model home that we've got a couple of devices that have just recently been found. Mm -hmm. You've got a Heat 4, Heat 2. Mm -hmm. Let's look at uh, device number 4 real quick. So this is something that's just come up. So when you first notice this, you'll get an alert saying, hey, Wiser has just found something. Yeah. It'll pop up, and then you'll see this window right here, which is kind of fun. Yeah. And it says 27% of the time, this device is recognized right. as a fan. Okay. Because keep in mind, every electronic device in your house really has a footprint. Yeah. yeah. So we've been able to capture that footprint. So yeah. in this case here, we see that it's 27% of the time it's mm -hmm. a fan. Yep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that custom alert okay. that we talked about earlier. Okay. And I'm going to set the next time that this turns on, I want to know. Right. So then I could easily go throughout the house and, and find that fan. And recognize it. And recognize it and then custom name it. Yeah. Perfect. Really simple. Yeah. Very good. All right. Outstanding. Well, hey, thank you very much. I mean, uh, there's a lot of excitement uh, around Wiser Energy. And uh, it truly does give the home, the, 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 the home a voice. Um, and uh, kind of brings that, uh, that the mystery of, uh, of electrical uh, products and, and usage within the, with the home to, to light. So it really does. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.